What's going on guys, Jay Breezy here on Nympho's channel. I'm going to be casting this game between Nympho, who's playing in Zectors, and Marie the Fallen One. In the blue there, she's playing Karakuris. So Nympho is going to go first. She opens by setting a monster in two back rows and passing. Marie also sets a monster and passes. Next turn, Nympho is going to go into the tour guide shenanigans, or as I like to call her, the tour whore. She's going to go tour whore into, I believe what was a Sangan. Yep, Sangan. She's going to overlay into a Levier, detach, boost its attack, and run over that face down monster, which happens to be a, not sure how to pronounce it, it's a Sazank, was it? And its effect brings out a Sizan from the deck and that's all she does. Next turn Marie activates the Karakuri Cash Cash selecting Sizan and searching for Kamachi I think I said that right switching the Sizan to defense Marie summons Sai I mean Kamachi, my fault and the effect to normal summon, nope, nope, she's gonna warning that None of those double summoning shenanigans. Nope, nope, nope. And so she passes. Next turn, Nympho is going to... Go into the centipede shenanigans. And I believe she... Equipped... From the hand, a sword. If I remember correct. No, she flips the reaper first, then activates the sword. Yep, there it is. So centipede becomes a 2400. And so Nympho attacks with the Leviathan Dragon, forcing Sizan to switch to attack. Takes the damage. When it's when it's in attack mode, it's not destroyed by battle. Centipede attacks, switches again to defense, and then it dies. And Reaper pokes for 300 and is going to poke a card from the hand. Let's see what she takes. It's the Strategist. The Karakuri Strategist. Main phase 2, she equips the Ladybug. I'm not sure what level she made the centipede, but, uh, yeah. And so with the centipede effect, she searches the hornet. And, whoops, uh, sorry about that. And she passes. And so next turn, Marie is going to summon another Kamachi. And the summon is good. The double summoning effect is good as well. So with that effect, she normal summons a Hypa. And, oh lord, it's a machine duplication. So she gets another Kamachi from the deck, and she's going to Synchro into Bure, and Bure's effect. I believe she got, yep, it's a Sazank from the deck. And then more Synchroing, another Bure, and with that she's going to get... It's a quick from the deck. And she activates one of the V-Ray's effects to switch Leviathan to defense position. And quick is going, she's going to run over it. And its effect allows her to get a Karakuri from the grave. I believe she went and got another Kamachi, was it? No, it was a Sizan. And one of the V-Ray's is going to run over the Sizan. I mean, pss, my fault. Centipede, rather. My fault. And the sword's effect goes off as it was sent to the grave. She gets the centipede back to the hand. And poke for 23 with the second beret. And then she uses the second beret's effect, targeting the spirit reaper. So the reaper is destroyed. This is main phase two, by the way, and she is going to synchro into Stardust Dragon. I believe it was. Yep, there's the Stardust, that gay sparkly dragon, or so they said. So how is Nifo going to get out of this, you may wonder. That face down card is actually a Call of the Haunted, and she's going to use that to target the Spirit Reaper and revive it. And... And what's this? Three darks in the grave? 
Oh, you know what that means. Oh, yep, it's Dark Arm Dragon. Oh, Lord. So what's going to happen now, you might wonder? Nympho summons a hornet, and she overlays into... What I believe was a, uh, a second Leviathan. Oh, okay. So detach, boost attack, Dark Arm Dragon runs over the Stardust. And now the Dark Arm is just going to blow up the two berets. Boom, boom. And with that, I believe she ended her turn right there. Yep, she did. She does, rather. So she summons a strategist, switches Leviathan to defense, and run it over. Which... I believe that was all she could have done. Didn't seem like she had any other plays. So main phase two, she sets one and passes. And I believe this was where Nympho just takes over and pushes for game right here. So she banishes the Reaper to destroy the back row, summons the Dragonfly, equips the Hornet from the grave, blows up the Strategist, is going to summon with the Dragonfly's effect, a centipede from the deck, equipped a hornet to centipede, ditched the hornet to blow up the now useless Call of the Haunted, search for a Gigamantis, and she's going to equip the Gigamantis to the Dragonfly! And so the Dragonfly... Oops. <laughs> Misclick. Yep, so she equips it to Dragonfly, making it a 2400 beater. And that's it. Punch for 16. Punch for 24. And punch for game. So that's it, guys. Game 1 goes to Nympho. On to game 2 we go. Marie going first. And I must, I must say she is going to open pretty broken here, if you ask me. Let's have a look here. She starts with the strategist and its effect switches itself to defense and she activates the Karakuri Cash Cash to search the uh... was it a Kamachi? No, it was a Sazank. Excuse me. And then, oh lord, she activates Instant Fusion, pays a thousand, gets the Cybersaurus, and she's going to get out the that sparkly gay dragon <laughs> or so they said and so Nympho she has an answer to this first she's going to open with the pot compulse system down and dragonfly she gets compulse and now she's going to summon a centipede I believe it was where is it? There it is. And she's going to equip a hornet. Equip a hornet and a sword. And with the 800 boost from the sword and with the 500 boost from the hornet, Centipede's a 2900 beater, so she can just run over that sparkly gay dragon. So Marie takes 400 points of damage. Main phase two, Nympho sets one and ends her turn. And Marie goes with a mind control, taking control of the centipede. She summons Sazank, but Nympho is having none of that, so she compulses it. Right back to the hand you go. I'm not sure what she was planning to do with that centipede. And I hope she I hope she realized that the centipede was level six because the Hornet was equipped to it. So I'm not sure what she was planning to do with that, so she just passes without doing anything else. So next turn, Nympho summons a trooper and mills three. She mills three. One, two, three. Ladybug warning and a Tor whore. And she's just going to punch for 19 and 29 
Main phase two. Blows up the trooper. Draw one card and search for the centipede. And I believe she gets dragonfly here. Yes, she does. And that's, yep, she sets one and go. And this is where things get interesting. Marie summons a Kamachi, and with its effect, she normal summons a Sazank. And oh lord, it's instant fusion. Gets a second Cybersaurus. And oh lord, it's machine duplication. So she gets two more Kamachis from the deck. And now, Synchro Shenanigans. She tunes the Kamachi with the Cybersaurus for a Burrito. And from the deck, she gets Saizan. And more Synchro Shenanigans. She goes for another Burrito. And with that Burrito's effect, she goes and gets a Sazank from the deck. And more Synchro Shenanigans. Goes into Beret. And with its effect, she gets a Hypa. No, it's a Sazank. My fault. And she, no, she's going to synchro for another beret. And now she gets a Hypa from the deck. Oh, Lord, that's pretty broke. And, <laughs> and just to be a sack, it's a pot of avarice. So she sends a bunch of Karakuris back to the deck. One, two. And now, I believe she's going to go into the battle phase right now. And yes, Bure, Bure attacks the centipede. The centipede's a 2400 with that sword. And that face down card that Nympho had was a Forbidden Lance. So in the damage step, that Bure loses 800 and it dies. And so the other second Beredo is going to attack the 2400 Centipede. And the Swords effect will allow her to get the Centipede back to the hand. So Hypa is going to attack for 21. And I don't think they noticed it, but the Hypa was supposed to switch to defense at the end of the battle phase there. Yeah, it was supposed to switch to defense. Don't think they realized it yet, but yeah. So, how is Nympho going to get out of this, you may wonder. Well, let's see what she does here. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's got the dragonfly. Equip the hornet, pop something. Special summon centipede with its effect. Equip the centipede with the hornet. Dump the hornet, pop something else. Search for the centipede and whatnot. Yep. That hornet is still a problem. Yep. So yeah, so she blows up a Burrito and equips the hornet to the centipede and she's going to blow up the second Burrito. I said she's going to blow up the second Burrito. And search. She searches for a sword and she's going to overlay into a acid golem. And, yep, that is enough power to punch Marie in the face for game. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Jay Breezy on Nympho's channel. Thank you so much, Nympho, for letting me do this. And we'll be seeing you guys later.